The editor-in-chief of the tablet and Nuestra Voz, Jorge Dominguez, is also standing by at the Encuentro in Texas, and he joins us now. Jorge, thank you so much. Listen, we just heard from Tim about all the activity taking place, and this is just day one. Now, there are several people participating in this national conference. How are they chosen? Is there a selection process? Oh, yes. Uh, I mean, the, this process has been going on for two years. It started at the parish level, and at the, at the parishes, uh, they elected the delegates to the, to the diocese encuentro, and then the, the different dioceses elected delegates to the regional encuentro, and the different regions of the country elected uh, representative to this uh, encuentro, the national encuentro. So, yes, it has been a long process of selection. Now, Jorge, how is this year's encounter different from others held in the past, especially in terms of expectations? Well, Liz, I, I, it's what I call the numbers and the meaning. The, the numbers are staggering. I mean, 40% of Catholics in the United States are Hispanic. 50% are Hispanic if you, if you consider the millennials. 60% if you consider people under 18 years of old. So uh, the numbers itself are, are staggering, but the question is, what is the meaning of those numbers? Mm -hmm. I mean, are the Hispanic ready to be half of the church in the United States? Is the leadership ready to propose ideas? And I think this is the great expectation here. It's not just the numbers, but what are we capable of doing? Are we ready to assume the role that we have to assume in the leadership of the church of the United States? Jorge, have people actually shared with you what this meeting means to them? Yes, when you talk to people, it's the first play, the first thing, please, it is a celebration. You see the people in the line to get the, you know, their credentials. You see the people in the, in the exhibits. The, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a festivity. You know, it's a family reunion for the Hispanic Catholic around the United States. But at the same time, they, they feel privileged to be here, to be, to be participating in this moment that they really consider historical for the reason that I was commenting before, because this is like, a coming of age. This, this, is a, this is a big moment for the Hispanics in the United States. It's, it's the, the great question is, are we ready? This is the question that we have to answer here. Really quickly, Jorge, Pope Francis himself, Catholic, born in Latin America, has he had an effect on the Encuentro? I think so, Liz. When Pope Francis came here, he talked about, you know, the, the hopes and the anguish of the, 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 you know, the Hispanics in the United States. But at the same time, Liz, he, he, he himself, his own presence here was a, was a way to say, listen, hey, you know, the Hispanic uh, church, the, the Latin American church now elected the Pope in Rome. The Pope in Rome is from Latin America. So you are also called to do something like that in the United States. You are supposed to, to fill the role of, a, you know, some role in the leadership. You mm -hmm. cannot be half of the church without ha being half of the leadership. And I think the visit of the Pope was very important to, you know, to create that conscience about the Hispanic Catholics in the United States. All right, thank you so much, Jorge. Of course, we will stay in touch as the Encuentro progresses to get some more insight from you and you all be sure to look for Jorge's articles on the Encuentro in the latest editions of the tablet and Nuestra Voz.